Hi Scorpio, I'm Shana from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to uh, your reading for the 2nd to the 8th of March 2020. These are the cards that I'm using. I'm using the Oracle of Vision by Hiro Manchetti and I'm also using the Fantasy Cats Oracle. And I'm also using the Handsome Roberts deck. Yes, it's a very old battered box, but it's one of my favourite cards. And I hope you will join me in this reading. And if you would like more info or an extended reading, then there's below this video you can find the information. Or if you would like to go to the website and have a scout around at what kind of readings there are on offer, they are quite diverse and have varied. Have a look at the corner here. There should be a white button. Just click on that and it will take you to the website. Okay, so this is your card and it's beautiful. Ooh, it looks like a high priestess. Somebody's making a potion. Ooh, I love potion perhaps. Well, it's just, I like looking at the cards and trying to get different scenarios <clears throat> and I've got four attitude cards um, and I'm not using the uh, time related cards um, I'm using the attitude there are four attitude cards and then I'll be putting a cat there's 15 cat cards and of course I'll be shaking these and one for Monday, or one for Wednesday, one for Friday, and this one sticking out, one for Saturday and Sunday. Okay, and I thought of this um, spread like this, just by myself, I just wanted to do something different. And because of different cards, so I'm also putting a tarot card down. Now I'll be going into this card extensively. And um, you've got number 48. 4 and 8 become uh, 4 and 8 is 12. So that is uh, 3 creativity. Right, and this card means choices, risks and consequences, so be, be aware of what decisions or choices you're going to make because it might have risks and it always has consequences. Men anger the gods with their pride and in order to punish them the gods looked at on as Pandora opened her box, letting chaos loose. Oh yes, the Pandora's box. Watch out, ego, there might be ego here. We may often be intrigued by a what-if scenario. This card depicts curiosity, temptation and wanting to know. It is natural to want to know, or want to try, and the only way to find out is to try. It's through such process that we can grow and avoid stagnation, but there are causes and effects. Here a regal queen opens the jeweled egg-shaped treasure, from which flies a column of fairies. Glowing like fireflies, they are now free. What is unclear is whether the outcome of their release will be reflected on with fondness or regret. Uh, our acts invariably result in consequences, both good or bad, so there is abundance to be struck. Unless we try, we will never know and that in turn may be a lost opportunity that will gnaw away if not acted upon. Be equally so, as we fully appreciate of the possible 
repercussions that may result. So try. It's like the saying, if you fall over, stand up, dust yourself off and continue. If you don't try, you haven't succeeded, you've just failed. By trying, you've succeeded in knowing. Very, very clever. So go ahead. And now on Monday, we have Attitude Desiring Transformation. And you have number eight. Number eight, and that is grooming. You always have to take care of yourself. My mum used to say, if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of another. And we've got the ladybird. And I've been, this card has come out several times in other readings. And the ladybird here in Europe means no aggression or <coughs> um, terrorism, um, aggression. Don't do any aggression against aggression. Okay. Pamper yourself, treat yourself as gentle as you would a child. Allow the other outer world problems and issues to dissolve as the mind, body and spirit is nurtured. The only thing that matters now is personal comfort and self-care. Put desire to the side. Forget the future and focus on you here and now. Place the self at the centre of all priorities. Listen to inspiration and inspiring music. Feed yourself nurturing foods. Treat yourself like a god or a goddess. Focus on action and activities that bring pleasure. Make yourself the priority. Love the body and it will love you back. Become as compassionate to yourself as you would a child. It feels good to pamper or to be pampered by another. Prepare for an unimaginably, unimaginably delicious outcome and trust res resolution is coming. Take your sweet time. Don't worry about exterior and how you look when you are grooming yourself. You need no one's approval or permission. Deep grooming helps in the interior level. Work at the surface and move deeper at your own pace and private comfort zone. You belong to no one but yourself. You know what is best for you. You reach your highest good and shower yourself in positive love, light and intentions. Your body is your best friend, your temple and your soul's resting place. Treat it with respect and spoil it frequently. Like I usually say, we need to tickle ourselves. Ooh. So spoil and embrace the good time with yourself. Meditate, contemplate and evaluate. Okay, you are being recognized. You're no longer the apprentice. You're the fully fledged person. You are grooming perhaps your, yourself for a new job. Awesome. You be presentable. Show the best of you. Your loving sight. You can be nurturing and loving just like a mother, but you can also be business like where needed. Serious in other words. Now we're going on to midweek, the second card and Scorpio. It's quite deep messages. Oh, have self-respect, love yourself, spoil yourself. Do what you want. You are number one, not anybody else. First you, then the rest. Attitude, deserving, belonging, desiring, belonging. Look at this little cat, playfully sitting there, doing what it wants. But you still aren't happy on your own. You want to belong to something or someone. Could be a group of people. It could be 
to a special person, but you're hiding. Ooh, why are you hiding? You are, are you taking care of yourself, getting yourself, ooh, tantalizingly pretty? Awesome. Good idea. Honor your body. Honor your soul. You might be growing. You can see the cat in the basket. And he's playing hide and seek. Perhaps you just would like to be away from all the hustle and bustle. You are not in balance because this is number five. You want to stay put where you are. Do not reveal personal inten intentions or your secrets. Perhaps that's why she's wearing her hair, so you don't see the expression like that. Okay, around midweek, that could be you, hiding. Hiding your true self. That you're busy loving yourself and nurturing yourself. This, so... The sacred is encouraged as you keep special things for yourself alone. Keep ideas close to your heart. Your plans and aspirations should be protected. Be clever in your plan. Do not show your hand of cards. Keep them close to your body. Okay, Scorpio, keep your cards close to your heart. Do not allow others to hurt you. Hold your own space. Stand your ground. Keep your vulnerability safe. This assures you and your desire are safe and sound. Now is not the time to grant action or to take action, but plod along, but quietly and silently. Keep focused on what you want and what you desire, okay? It is a bit like the hermit. Take time out to think, think things through, to meditate or to contemplate on what is the next step that you desire or wish for. Be careful what you wish for. The time will come to act, but not now. Keep quiet like a cat. Slink in the background. Felines will bask in shadows until the coast is clear. Cats create personal space by disappearing when they need to. Whether do, where you, do you find refuge? Have you got a sacred space? Have you perhaps got an altar or a room or just a favorite chair? How and where can you escape to, to evade prying eyes and unwanted and eva evasive attention? You decide when and where to surface, and not a moment before. You are in control of your inner actions, energy, exchange and boundaries. Time alone is time well spent. Rejuvenate yourself in silence. Your silence will be n never judge you. Your silence will never judge you. And you might be planning a wedding. Ooh, magic. Or you might be planning to go to a wedding because you've been invited to a wedding. You've been recognized. So perhaps somebody um, had an eye on you and recognizes you and wants to get married with you. Perhaps it's the other way around and you're getting ready, like I said. Ooh, hunky-dory might be something exciting. Beautifying yourself before I even saw this card. Amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Well, my cat has just jumped on my lap. Okay, now at the end of the week, you've got the attitude desiring balance. Now you want balance, perhaps balance within yourself, like in the beginning of the week, or balance with this new person, so that you can feel balanced and because the four of ones means weddings and celebrations, you might be giving a party and planning that, but nobody knows about it. Or you might be going to a, um, a party. You might be getting married. But this means celebration and steadiness. Because the four of ones means steady, proper foundations. That is what you might have been building uh, so that you can get the balance between you and some other perhaps. And then we have a 
also a very beautiful card and that is number three dreaming you've been dreaming and perhaps planning and wishing something awesome and dreams are great dreams are dreams or wishes they usually say look at that imagine you've been contemplating at the beginning of the week or meditating and you've been following your intuition you've been trying to discover your inner moon so that you can allow the warmth and fantasy of the sunlight to lull you into dream states like the feline or catnapping often more often than usual so now perhaps your dreams are ready to bring to daylight there's no more secretness now is the moment to wake up and you have the empress perhaps you might find find found out that you were pregnant and that's what you were keeping a secret and you feel beautiful your hormones are working over hours because the empress stands for fertility birth of a child or birth of a project and now you're ready to open up and tell the world extra also stands for growth blossoming and harvesting she knows it takes time for things to grow and to, to develop and you've been planning this all along your dreams or your goal you might even get married to a libra as the empress stands for libra that's on Friday. Your attitude card is deserving intimacy. Yes, you deserve intimacy. Or desiring um, intimacy. And this is the final card. The final, the final card of five cards, four cards. And it's a meeting. Perhaps you've met somebody. Number nine, something is coming to an end. You might start discussing um, about arranging weddings or to arrange a wedding because you might have proposed on Wednesday or to a Libra. Whether you're a woman or a man, you could have done the proposing. Let's get married. Because that was your dream. It's so nice how they sort of melt into one another. So get ready, stay upon and stay open to sign the messages. Stay open to signs and messages. Perhaps the elf is discussing it with the cat like you, discussing it with somebody, your own mind in the beginning of the week. There's always somebody there that you can discuss things with. Wow, and I think this is definitely partnership because we've got the high priest and he marries people, brings people together. Perhaps it's a reconciliation that you've wanted, been wanting, Scorpio, a reconciliation to get married. You've been working towards it. You've got the recognition You've hit yourself, you've been getting yourself ready for this moment. You've hidden yourself away, but the celebrations are here. It can be midweek, it can be Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday, but definitely on Friday as there is a new beginning coming together. You've seeked the advice, you've done the work. You'll be meeting up with each other. Perhaps it's a marriage guidance counselor that is the Hierophant, and the Hierophant is also an Aries. You might want to get back together again with Aries. Wow, well, I, um, I know, I know of somebody that's 
and, and just shot straight into my mind. It just shot straight into my mind. I know somebody that's in this situation. They would love to get married or get back together again. So seek advice. That's the message. That's what you've been hiding about. You've, you've groomed yourself. You've kept yourself in tip top shape. You've been longing, you've kept your secrets to yourself, you've played the cards close to your chest, you've been contemplating and daydreaming about a new beginning, perhaps getting married, celebrations, and you will be joining so long you do the work. Or the other party does the work, not only you, it takes two to tango. And look, you might open a Pandora box, but what will be inside it? That only the future will tell. Perhaps you might have to go back to the beginning and listen to the definition of that card again. But nine is an ending and it is meetings. It's an end of a phase. You're ready for this new beginning. Okay, a nine is an end and there, when there is an end, there is a new beginning. You might have to seek advice. Uh, so the high priest brings these two people together or get married. Awesome. People and opportunities. That's what this card means. And experience, experience show up when you greet the world. An open mind is an aware mind. Mystery surprise and wonder hide inside every moment stay open and sacred meetings in your life that is like the mystery surprise wow amazing when you open the pandora box it will surprise you what's in it to be um Stay open to sacred meetings in your life. Sacred is also like the word they use in religion. Okay. People carry messages. Allow your life to become an oracle. Engage in curi curiosities and follow interests. Seek advice. Make new friends. Ask for directions along the way. Stay alert. Listen to new ideas. Move with the curiosity of a child. And we've got the little child here because this fairy looks like a very young person. Stop judging and start embracing. Gifts are often disguised as hardships. Greet them as you would an old friend. Expect the good things to show up and you will. Prepare for pleasure, to find pleasure, imagine abundance, to discover abundance. Desire desires you. The things you want often appear in a way you will never recognize because they don't look the way you expect them to. Oh, wow. This is what I'm saying. Look at her hiding behind her hair. Stay beauty, stay pure, beautiful or handsome because beauty and abundance will find you. Take your time and circle new potentials. Your perceptions will tell you everything you need to know. Trust that you can determine the difference between excitement and danger. Walk away if you need to and feign indifference. It is of no loss to you. You already possess all that you need. Connections are all potential. You hold the power to choose. Do not be pressured or influenced by others in uncomfortable ways. Cats suffer fools, no fools. Cats suffer no fools. In other words, cats do not have time for fools. Now, my new and my newest thing is reading with charms. 
en met bedeltjes te lezen. With charts. And after all the beads in the color of the chakras. And there, there is an angel attached to it. I have not got all the angel angelic colors because I couldn't find the beads. But we'll get there one day. I need um, an indigo purple. And these are really pure stone because I love working with stones and their healing elements. And of course, the charms. There's a like this, the clock and the coin. Right, I'm going to put that here. I'm going to take out some charms. Right, you are the first one that has um, seven charms. So seven is significant. The number seven is significant. Okay, luck, luck. Okay. Four and three is seven as well, so that's where I see seven. Um, and you're going from seven to eight. Right. You're going upwards and onwards. You might be getting a pet. But if you think of the Lenneman cards, then you've got a dog in the cards of Lenneman. So you might meet a friend and finally see that they are trustworthy, loyal. Or you might meet a new friend and that will become a good friend because they are trusty and loyal. Luck is on your side. Luck is on your side. And perhaps your secret is love, like getting married. It's very delicate love because this heart is also, this heart is also I'm trying to find something darker. This heart, no, you can't see it. This heart is very delicate. Do you see that? So interwoven, it's just like lace. So something that is very delicate is um, important at this moment. It is, you've got it in your heart. Perhaps you, mm, if I've got two locks here, so try to unlock your heart and you've got the heart on the other lock. Look at that, you've got the heart right in dot and center. Somebody has got a locked heart, a locked mind. Your dreams are locked away. So make sure that your dreams will be unlocked this week. You have to open the Pandora box. You know that it might contain danger, but you can step away from it. Like with this card, step away from negativity. Open the love. Open, have a real definite talk. Talk about love, how you see love. And stop making, um, what do you want to call it? Stop making accusations. That's it. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. Be wise. You've got the owl. Be wise. Use your wisdom. Make sure that if you have not got the wisdom, that you ask for help from somebody that could help you to converse, to unlock the locks of your mind, your heart. You've got the angel feather also on the dreams. So unlock your dreams, unlock, make your love come true. Ask the angels for help. We haven't got the chakra yet. This could be a man that needs to unlock. You've got the sign of the man. This could be a boy. Unlock a child could be a male child. It's a male, perhaps they have to unlock their hearts. They've got secrets, perhaps they've got secrets. Okay. Use your wisdom. Beautiful messages. And there might be, 
that might be, if you um, compare it to the Lenormand card, this is the birds. There could be official news coming to you, or there could be gossip, because the birds, if you have the Lenormand cards, the birds, they sit in groups, so there could be gossip. But there definitely will be news, could be official news, could be marriage certificate, um, could be a divorce certificate if you are the one that is waiting to get separated um, and so that you can remarry. Perhaps it's that. Somebody's flown the coop or left the group. That is what when one bird flies away because usually there's three birds in the Lenormand card. I'll show you. But obviously you might not know um, um, the Lenormand. So I don't know, but because you might be new. So that's the dog, that's the dog. Then you've got the heart. This could be new love. You did have the heart, so it could be new love. And uh, on. I'm trying to make it more into a picture for you. Okay, there you've got the birds. Oh, I can't find the heart. There, there you've got the heart. There you go. You see how the, the charms can come alive if you compare them to cards. That's why you can also read cards. And the heart also means cups. So it could be somebody that is a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces. Okay, they have to open their heart. Could be. That's the heart. And then you've got the dog. And then the birds. Here you are, you've got more birds sitting, they're always sitting in groups and one is flying the coop. So that could be at work, that could be in the family. That could be somebody that's left the family and has got their own dreams. Perhaps you wanted them back, but they have their own dreams and they've kept their cards close to the chest. It's amazing how these readings develop and go boom. And you, you are the one that's got seven charms, and I didn't grab it. Okay, well, I, I really shouldn't grab the chakra uh, thing, but I will, because I want to know which angel you should have for the week. Okay, you've got the pink. Okay, that is angel, archangel Shamuel. Open your heart to love. Okay. And have that meeting, have that talk. Get somebody in that's professional. If you, um, that could be a mediator if you do want to reconcile. Okay. So, you know your secret, Scorpio. You are a mysterious sign. That's one of your signs. You're mysterious. You do play your cards close to your chest. But, I love you all the same. Take care. And I hope you know that together we stand strong. So give us the thumbs up. I think this is an awesome reading. It's the best reading. Wow, the messages are so clear. Thanks very much for being here. Take care and God bless.